What's going on guys? I'm Ollie Rodriguez. If you haven't seen the channel before, welcome. Hope you subscribe. And also, I just want to give you a video where I just like share some collectible sort of stuff and it's going to be my still books. I'm also going to be opening this right here, which is going to be the latest still book to my collection. But I'm just going to go and show you the actual collection I have right now. It's just going to be a lot of Marvel still books and also free box sets I have, which I think you guys might be interested in seeing part of my collection. I've also got a comic book collection which I would like to share at some point but yeah I just want to make this like short video so I can put it out on the channel and you can just be like yeah good collection mate so comment down below which one of the steel books looks your favourite and I'm also going to see if this one is going to look any better in the collection or if it looks better than any others and just see how it looks in general. So let's go have a look at the other ones I have shall we. And that is my DVD collection and that's not even all of it but the main things we're going to focus on are everything from here to there. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, then there's Spider-Man Homecoming, Black Panther, 4 Dark World, 4 Ragnarok, Logan, Venom, Deadpool 1, Deadpool 2, Infinity War, Ant-Man 1, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. So then this essentially just becomes my Marvel Steelbook and box set collections and now what I'm about to do for you is unbox my latest still book that will be added into this collection which i'll do right now and if you want to know anything logan is my favorite actual artwork cover spider-man is my favorite film and out of the box sex sex uh, well that's definitely the wrong word right there but my favorite one is phase three part one and i am even though i've got all of well i've also pre-ordered all the ones that haven't come out yet for um what's going to be in phase three part two I'm still probably going to get the box set for it when I can. So now we've looked at them, let's look at this one. I already know what this is. It is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I don't actually have any idea what it looks like at the moment. So let's pull this one out. And it's up down. down. An instant reaction. It's alright. <laughs> it's definitely not one of the best ones I've seen. But it is a still book nonetheless. Um, that's the back of it. I always hate these type of sleeves because I've got the Venom and Spider-Man one and they just look bad so basically all the Sony ones I don't like how they do these sleeve things whereas Marvel is one that you slide on and it's just pretty simple but yeah I mean it's Mar 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 Miles Morales' Spider-Man and I mean the spray paint bit looks pretty cool and the tint on it so let's actually open it and see what it really looks like. And yeah I'm one of those people who like want to keep it as good condition as possible like this. So like I know this is not going to stay the same, the sleeve bit, but that's just what it is. I don't like how Sony made it, as I've already said, but I really want to see what the back of this looks like. So I'm already ruining it. Also, in case you want to know where I get these from, it's actually a site called Zavi. I'll put a bit of a video of it there. I, you can just pre-order a bunch of still books, and I always do it in the cinema pretty much. Like with the Marvel film, MCU films especially, I will. If it's a Sony film, I'll kind of be like, I watch the film first, obviously, but I'm quite that nerdy about getting these still books, so I try and get them as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this unboxing of this one and look at the other ones, I pre-ordered two of the latest films, so Captain Marvel and Endgame. I've already pre-ordered both of them, and I also got a bit of a collector's edition versions of their still books. So when I do an unboxing of them, if you want to see that, leave a like for that. I there will be more to show than just here's a still book, here's a like is the disc for it is the back of it it would be a bit more there's more items inside it that i can give you and that's kind of why i wanted to show off all of the ones down there for you in this same unboxing so there's the back of it there's the front of it pretty much the same and then there's a disc of it which has got several of them piled up and if i take those out you've just got some nice graffiti comic work comic art in there, which is alright if I do, yeah. So yeah, honestly, the film itself is great, but um, Steelbook itself isn't anything too special. Um, you get the exclusive behind the scenes bit because it's a Blu-ray, but yeah, it's an alright Steelbook, so that was my unboxing of the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Steelbook, so if you want to leave a like for this one, then do that, and honestly, comparing it to the rest, it's it's basic, it's it's a steel book. It's collectible. That's the main thing for me. I'm such a fucking nerd about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> 